हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन सो दिस इज द जी यू आई ऑफ और पैलो ऑल्टो फायर वॉल एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज वर्चुअल राउटर वी विल ऑल्सो लर्न दैट हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर द स्टैटिक राउट्स एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो गो थ्रू दैट हाउ द राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल्स कैन बी कॉन्फिगर्ड ऑन द पैलो ऑल्टो फायर वॉल सो फर्स्ट लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वाई एग्जैक्टली वी नीड वर्चुअल राउटर एंड वाई राउटिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड सो यू नो very well that whenever we are having any firewall by default it is having rules to deny or allow the traffic right so if the firewall has these rules let us suppose this is a firewall and it is having multiple interfaces on the different networks like this is 10.1.1. something this interface on the 200.1.1.1. something the third interface could be like uh, uh, 100.1.1.1. something right now we are having a firewall policy to allow or deny the traffic on this one that this interface to this interface the traffic can be allow or deny but what about the routing right because this is one network and this is another network so how this traffic can be forwarded from one interface to another interface this is really challenging this cannot be done without help of the router so it is using the same concept as we learned in the ccna that only a router can forward the traffic from one network to another network so that's why we will take the help of our router to forward the traffic from one interface or one network to another network right so if you go to the firewall let's go to the network interfaces if you go to the options if you let's select one of the interface here and let's see what are the options available in the interface type so if i selected interface type here you will observe that there are multiple options the first option is like tap another one is ha next is virtual wire these might three interfaces might be new to you i will cover up in the upcoming videos that what are they in the detail by taking the example uh, of these configurations but uh, these layer 2 and layer 3 you might be familiar right so whenever we talk about the layer 2 interface that is basically a switch and whenever we talk about the layer 3 interface that is basically a router so whenever we want to forward the traffic from one network to another network we will configure the interface as a layer 3 interface all right and same time what we will do we will take the help of router so take the the help of this router we are having this option of virtual routers we can create virtual routers inside our firewall and then take the help of the similar functionalities as a normal router have and then our job is done we are happy with it so what fire uh, palo alto firewall has done by default they have given us a default router if you go here in the virtual routers you see you are having an option of default right this is our default router and uh, in the previous configuration i have assigned these interfaces to the same default router but what if you don't want to use this you by because of the security constraint or some other issues you don't want to use this one right so in that case what you can do you can create a new virtual router here you can click add and uh, you can give any name uh, like uh, router 1 all right and then you can assign interfaces you can add interfaces but as of now all the interfaces are used to it is does not have in the drop down right so what i am going to do uh, i am just creating it but not adding any of the interface okay so let me delete it here so i am creating the router with the name router1 but i am not assigning any of the interface in the 
this another instance of the virtual router of router one all right next thing what we will do we will commit it but i'm not going to waste time in committing it let's understand the concept of this default so first time what i am going to do i have taken a lab setup here so i will try to ping this i will log in this user one and try to ping this router interface and then from this further once it is reachable this interface this one then we will try to ping this server so connectivity as similar ip addresses whatever i have labeled i have this configuration here uh, so ip address configuration is already done now our focus will be only towards the routing all right so let's just check uh, the user one here i think user one ip address is not configured so i will configure it ip 172.16.1.1 255.255.255.0 and the subnet is 172.16.1.1 i think i have taken the reverse let me cross check uh, yes i have taken the reverse so this is our 10 ip address of the machine will be 10 and the default gateway will be 1.1 what i am going to do now i am going to ping this interface 172.16.2.10 all right currently all the interfaces just to remember all these interfaces 1.1 1.2 1 slash 2 1 slash 3 all are on the default virtual router all right so i'm going to ping this interface 172.16.2.10 let's do it 172.16.2.10 2.10 so it is reachable there is no issue on this let's check the routing table of our firewall right so go to palo alto here we go the command is show routing route so if i go check the routing route here we see that there are three routes connected right the first one is 16.1.10 right so 1.1 so these are basically connected routes whenever we have a flag c here it means that they are connected and uh, this is also giving a direct connectivity so it is giving an option of h that is basically tells as an host only flag so whenever we have an entry so this can be treated as a one combination right so similarly we are having information of 2.0 network we are having the information of 3.0 network all three are directly connected right connected connected and connected so if i uh, go to upper upper topology here so all these interfaces are directly connected so that's why i'm able to ping them but there is no information about the network 192 168 1.100 if i try to ping this interfaces or this network or we can say this server it will not be reachable because our routing instance of palo alto firewall does not have any information regarding this network so let me try to check it ping 192 168 1.100 it will not ping why it will not ping because our network don't have any information regarding that network so our traffic comes as usual this is just uh, uh, routing uh, scenarios that our traffic is initiated from the user one it reaches to the firewall and from here it is confused that i don't have any information regarding 192 network to which interface i should forward it it means that we should be having any routing table or routing route information here so there's uh, multiple ways either we can configure a static route here or we can run a routing protocol to tell this information so as of now i'm going to configure a static route in order to tell the palo alto firewall that where is our basically 192 168 1.100 network so for that how can i go i will go to this router default router 
I clicked it here. I will go to the static routes and I will add a static route. So name I am giving like server one route. Destination. So it can be a network or it can be a host. So I'm giving going to give it as a network 192.168.1.0 slash 24. All right. Interface I'm giving none. So that's fine. Next top IP address. Next top IP address will be 192.168. No, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. 172.16.1.10. It should forward the traffic towards 1 dot, sorry, 2 dot 10. I will have to change this. It will forward the traffic towards 172.16.2 dot 10. So this is uh, very simple. It's like uh, if you have gone through the CCNA, this is simple routing. There's nothing firewall involved in this one. Only the thing is that GUI is of the Palo Alto firewall. That's it. The concept is as usual of the CCNA. So commit is successful. Let's try to ping now. And here we go. It is reachable. Right. So that's how it is. And in fact, we can try to ping 200 as well. That was the IP address of the server that should also be reachable. That's how it is. Now another concept at the same time, if we try to ping this interface 172.16.3.10, it will be reachable. If I try to ping 172.16.3.10, it will be reachable. All right. As usual, although they are in a different zone, but I have configured a policy to allow this communication. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this interface Ethernet 1 slash 3 to the different virtual router. Currently they are in the default. 1 slash 3 is in the default. I'm going to remove it from one uh, default and I will add it to the router 1. Though uh, all are added to the virtual router, but what happens that the routing information of one virtual router is not shared with the another one. So what happens in this case? that the communication is not allowed. So commit is successful. Let's check now. And that's how it is. It is not uh, communication is stopped. What if we add these two interfaces like Ethernet 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 3 on the default router. So that's what I'm going to do now. I will delete 1 slash 2 as well. I think it was 1 slash 2, 1 slash 1. So I will remove 1 slash 1 from here. Delete from the default one and add to this. Now this communication will be back again because and why it was happening that the routing information of one virtual router is not shared with the other one. So this is like a security feature or we can say segregation of the traffic from one to another one or we can say like uh, uh, like any of the virtual router instance goes down so it does not impact the other routing virtual router instances like they will be running very fine like one of the virtual router instance uh, is overloaded and that has stopped working so another will not be impacted so that's the benefit of like segregation of the traffic or we can also do it for the purpose of uh, convenience that all the services are not going through the similar one so now the traffic will be allowed and uh, here we can check the routing as well 
uh, show routing route the command we will give and we can check the route that we have given this route 192.168.1.0 here it is right that's fine our focus was to ping it i'm going to do that again and here we go we are back so that's what uh, that's it about these virtual routers if you want to configure any of the routing protocols you can go to the virtual inside the virtual routers and then you can configure the rip ospf ospf v3 bgp if you are good in these protocols you can easily configure them there's nothing new on this one this is just uh, uh, routing and switching that's it but uh, if you know it then only you can configure it if you don't know just uh, put your hands away from it so that's it guys uh, from the virtual routers and the routing part uh, we will come up with the more videos on the interface types that what are they basically one by one and uh, take will take the lab demo as well for that thank you guys see you soon in the next video